evening, everyone. The Diocese of Nashville has published new names of former priests accused of sexually abusing children. Just last week, it named 13 former priests accused of abuse. Investigate reporter Ben Hall says new names came out as critics continued calls for an outside investigation. We had a problem. They claim the diocese is holding back and knows other priests who have abused children. It's time this diocese be held accountable. In fact, the diocese on its website published three new names that were not on its original list of 13. They include two priests who were ordained in Nashville but moved to other dioceses in 1964 and 1971. Both were named as accused abusers by other dioceses. And another man who served in campus ministry at Vanderbilt but was recalled by his order in 2003. I don't want an independent grand jury, TBI, attorney general, somebody outside the Catholic Church to investigate them. David Brown helps lead a group that advocates for survivors of sexual abuse by priests called SNAP of Tennessee. I don't want to destroy the faithful. I just want the truth. Brown can speak from experience. He was abused by a priest who was his teacher at Father Ryan back in 1961. Brown was 15 years old and remembers how happy his parents were when the priest showed up at their home. They stood in our carport. I remember Dad was hugging Mama. They were so proud that I was associating with a very popular priest. The diocese included the name of Paul Frederick Haas on its list last week. Brown was most disturbed at how many other places Haas served after Nashville. The interstate trafficking of pedophiles. That's what we're screaming about. They don't fire them. They enable them. They move them around. That's horrible. The diocese says Haas was dismissed from the priesthood in 1977 and died two years later. This should not have happened. The way it was handled back then is not the way we handle it now. Bishop J. Mark Spaulding apologized for the past in an interview last week. The diocese insists there has not been an accusation against a priest serving in the diocese in more than 25 years. Brown says there are likely victims that have not yet come forward and an outside investigation could make it easier for them to do that. I want to help them. They're not helping them by, by continuing to hold back half the truths, veil with fancy catch words that sound nice and sound bites that are really pleasing. The diocese says those three new names are not officially on the list of accused abusers, but could be added later. It's simply acknowledging past accusations against them. We'll keep following all of this. Ben, thank you.